So, so far we discussed about the demodulation of AM in which we discussed a square law demodulator, analog detector, synchronous detector. So, uh, next we will solve the questions from the envelope detector because uh, the question asked uh, is uh, from only the envelope detector uh, in demodulation of AM. So, the question number 31 is an AM signal is detected using an envelope detector. The carrier frequency and modulating signal frequency are 1 megahertz and 2 kilohertz respectively an appropriate value for the time constant of the envelope detector is. So, we are demodulating the AM signal with the help of envelope detector and the carrier frequency FC equal to 1 megahertz and modulating frequency FM equal to 2 kilohertz is given. The appropriate value of time constant we have to select and for proper envelope detection for proper envelope detection the value of time constant should be rc the value of time constant rc should be very very greater than 1 upon fc and should be very very less than 1 upon fm that we have discussed what will happen when the rc is less than 1 upon fc and when it is greater than 1 upon fm what will happen that we have discussed already so for proper envelope discussion this condition should be satisfied and 1 upon fc that means 1 upon 10 to the power 6 should be greater than uh, rc should be very very greater than 1 upon 10 to the power 6 and should be very very less than 1 upon 2 into 10 to the power 3 that is 2 kilohertz so 1 upon 10 to the power 6 can be written as 10 to the power minus 6 and this can be written as 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 or in microsecond we can write 1 microsecond rc should be greater than 1 microsecond and should be very very less than 500 microsecond. So, to write in microsecond we will multiply and divide it by 10 to power 3 or you can say 10 to power minus 3. So, this 10 to power minus 3, 10 to power minus 3 will become 10 to power minus 6 that is micro and this 10 to power minus 3 will go into the numerator and it will give us 500. So, 1 microsecond to 500 microsecond in this range it should be the value of uh, time constant and uh, we have option 500 microsecond. So, according to this condition the RC should be very very less than 500 microsecond. So, option A cannot be correct and option B that is 20 microsecond. So, this is in the range of 1 microsecond to 500 microsecond. So, this can be the correct answer and option C 0 0.2 microsecond which is less than 1 microsecond. So, which is also not possible and option D is 1 microsecond. So, the RC should be very very greater than 1 microsecond. So, our correct answer for RC is 20 microsecond. So, this will be the appropriate value of time constant if we select the time constant 20 microsecond then we will be uh, demodulate we will be demodulating the signal without any distortion. Now question number 32 that is very simple question a message signal empty a message signal empty cause 2000 pi t plus 4 cos 4000 pi t modulates the carrier ct so message signal modulates the carrier signal ct and uh, it to produce am signal with the carrier frequency is 1 megahertz for demodulating the generated am signal using an envelope detector the time constant should satisfy so again for proper envelope detection the condition is same 1 upon fc should be very very less than rc and rc should be very very less than 1 upon fm but i told you when uh, in case of multitone signal the fm is the maximum frequency component present in modulating signal so the maximum frequency component here the first component is having frequency 1 kilohertz and second term is having frequency 2 kilohertz so fm will be the maximum of these two that is 2 kilohertz and the, uh, 1 upon fc that is fc is given to us that is 1 megahertz so 1 upon 10 to the power 6 
should be very very less than rc and rc should be very very less than 1 upon maximum frequency in case of multi tone fm is the maximum frequency so the maximum frequency is 2 kilohertz so 2 into 10 to the power 3 that means we get rc 1 microsecond rc should be greater than 1 microsecond and less than 0.5 millisecond so according to option we can calculate uh, we can find our answer and uh, according to option the answer is option b so correct answer is option b that is question number 32 next is question number 33 consider the amplitude modulated signal am signal is given that is ase cos omega ct plus 2 cos omega mt into cos omega ct for demodulating the signal using envelope detector the minimum value of ac so one condition we uh, discussed in envelope detector is the value of time constant for proper envelope detection and for proper envelope detection this is the value of time constant and another condition we discussed is the condition of modulation index so modulation index should always be less than or equal to 1 for proper envelope detection so here because the expression of am signal is given so we can find the modulation index by converting it into standard form so if i convert this into standard form for that i have to take this ac cos omega ct common then it will be 1 plus 2 cos omega mt into cos omega ct divided by because i have taken ac cos omega ct common so this is ac cos omega ct and this cos omega ct and cos omega ct will get cancelled and we get ac in bracket 1 plus 2 upon ac cos of omega mt and cos of omega ct so this has been converted into a standard form and the standard form is in the form of modulating single tone modulating signal so when the message signal is single tone sinusoidal the expression of am is given as ac 1 plus ma cos omega mt cos omega ct when the message signal is single tone sinusoidal then the expression is in this form so now we can compare these two expression and on comparing these two expression we get ma equal to 2 by ac but we know that for proper envelope detection for proper envelope detection the modulation index the modulation index should be less than equal to 1 that means 2 upon ac should be less than equal to 1 or we can say that ac should be greater than equal to 2 so we have to find the minimum value of ac so the minimum value of carrier amplitude is 2 volt or the carrier amplitude should be greater than 2 or it should be equal to it can be equal to 2 so according to option we have to find the minimum value of ac so that is our option a so the correct answer is option a now next is question number 34 so question number 34 is the amplitude modulated waveform the amplitude modulated waveform s of t is equal to ac 1 plus k m t cos omega c t is fed to an ideal envelope detector the maximum magnitude of k m t is greater than 1 so which of the following could be the detector output so it is given that the maximum value of k into m t is greater than 1 so what is the definition of modulation index so modulation index is defined as maximum value of k into m t so this is nothing but the modulation index so the ma is greater than 1 here it is given because k is constant k is outside maximum value of m t whatever will be the maximum value of m t multiplied with k gives modulation index and it is given that this term is greater than 1 that means modulation index is greater than 1 
so if the modulation index is greater than 1 then we discussed in envelope detector then whenever the modulation index is greater than 1 we get the envelope as it is at the output whatever will be the input to the envelope detector the envelope of that input will be present at the output of envelope detector whether it is message signal or not. So, the envelope in this particular case envelope will be magnitude of because the diode will not work for negative value that is why the magnitude of AC 1 plus k m t this is the envelope at the output uh, uh, output of envelope detector that is the envelope of input signal. So, the correct answer is option C at the output of detector we will get this value which is not our message signal because we are not getting our message signal back because the modulation index is greater than 1. If the modulation index was less than 1 if it would have been uh, less than 1 then we get the message signal output which is option A. So, if the condition was MA less than 1 then we could say the correct answer is option A, but because here the signal is given as over modulated waveform that is why we are getting the envelope as it is at the output of envelope detector.